Hello everyone, welcome to Slipjoint Sawyer. Today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done for a while and I'm going to release my own open tag. Um, I feel there's not enough canoes about in the community. I know we all have them, I know we all like and we all discuss it a lot how much we love a canoe. But we don't ever see as many on YouTube so I want to see your canoes, get a response video going. If you haven't got a YouTube channel, just send me a message, leave a comment, upload an Instagram picture and tag me. I'd love to see what canoes you've got. So I'll start it right away and jump in with the first one, which is the Buck Canoe. So this is the 389, I believe. Yep, 389. This has the laminated wood scales with the 420 J2 steel. One of the canoes I've used the most. I've put my own edge on it. It's had a lot of use. This is one of my favourite ones to carry. Of course, this has the nickel silver bolsters and the nickel silver pins. And of course, this is a Chinese made buck. See the logo there. Quick look at the tang stamp on this side. Nice hollow ground on the blade on both of them, on the pen blade and on the main blade. And of course, you can see China there as the country of origin. No half stops on this, just a nice cam tang and a really nice action on both the blades. Number one, the Buck 389 canoe. Next in the list is actually an older Rough Rider, and I'm not actually sure what the model number for this is. It's not actually printed on the knife. I did find out originally, but being a not a brilliant human, I have forgotten. And yeah, so I've forgotten that. So you can see here we have the older Rough Rider Tang Stamp, which has the anvil, and it says Rough Rider Cutlery Company underneath. See it has the tested RR sharp etch on the blade and then on the reverse there you get the 440 razor sharp steel and china. No half stops on this as it's an older model. Pen blade on this side again nice and clean but no model number as you can see and it does have this really nice almost looks like winter bottom bone or worm groove bone jig on there and of course you have the round rough rider shield with the horseshoe in there. Colour matching is pretty good on both sides. A little bit dark and a little bit light here, but overall pretty similar to that side. So that's the next one. Following that, on suit again with another Rough Rider. This is a newer one. This is the Red Fox series. You can see this does have half stops. It has that reverse R uh, tang stamp. We do have a long pull swedging and a hollow grind as well. And of course, this has the slanted, lined and pinched bolsters with those red underliners on there as well. Excellent action on this one. A bit lazy into the half stop, I will say, but it has got a nice solid half stop and a really positive close. And again, a nice pull on both of these blades. Both hollow grind, match strike long pull on here again. Reverse our tang stamp and of course those red underliners on there really makes that micata pop. Along with that, the really well done inlaid Fox Shield. My recent, most recent acquisition for the canoe, and this is the Queen Red Synthetic Canoe. And you will notice compared to the other ones, if I bring up this one to comparison. The tangs are normally hidden on a canoe. But with this Queen one, this bolster here is not as elongated. And there is a bit of the tang showing, but it's been nicely rounded off. Doesn't bother me, and it's one I wanted to pick up for the collection. Along with that, you can see a Rough Rider uses two back springs. You can kind of just make that out there. Whereas this Queen is just using the one. Pretty unique, I think, really. Of course, we have the synthetic red handles, the Queen shield, nickel silver bolsters either side. And looks like brass pins on here as well. And we have Queen steel on the etch. And on the tang we have Queen, and this is in 440C steel, so a really nice quality steel on this one. And a nice pull as well. Really nice blade on this. Absolute fingerprint magnet. Can't help it. And then the pen blade has an exceptional pull on it. I'd say it's at least a 7. Queen again on the tang. Clean on the back. Really wonderful canoe. Got this for an absolute bargain here in the UK. Picked it up for £19. Wonderful deal. Just another look at that blade. So that is the Queen Red Synthetic. 
fifth one on the list, one I've probably had the longest, and this is the Masonic Canoe from Rough Rider. You can see you have that really vibrant blue bone, the Masonic Shield here, nickel silver lined bolsters on the back, very consistent that blue bone continues over. Again, nickel silver and the lined, perfectly done. You do have the Masonic sort of slogan there, in search of more light, with an etch of their logo. See the Rough Rider reverse R Tang stamp, and I believe this one is an RY spelling. Nope, it's an RI spelling. But I mean, who knows what the spelling is these days. Pen blade on here. Great action on this, really snappy, really smooth. Out of all my sort of rough riders, I think this is the one with the best action. Both blades are like glass opening and closing. There's no resistance, as in on the pivot on either side, there's obviously resistance on the back here from the spring, but it just feels like glass. Wonderful action, beautiful blade, and just look at the bone on that. So that is number five, the Masonic Canoe. Number six is sort of a modified canoe. It's the kayak from Rough Rider Reserve. It does have this wonderful dyed uh, oak bur burlow called Burlwood, I think it is. See on the back there as well, we've got stainless pins, it looks like. No, sorry, nickel silver pins. Brushed bolsters and lined either side on the front as well. We do have that arrowhead shield. And these come with sort of reverse tanto blades. Of course this is D2 steel, half stop and really strong pull on these. And then on the back you get a slightly smaller, stubbier reverse tanto blade there as well. And again, a really strong pull and an excellent walk and talk. So that is number six. And I thought I'd save my favourite for last. This was a very special one to me. This was a gift from John at Thrifty Kniffy. So John, once again, I know I've thanked you many times, but this is an absolutely beautiful knife and I absolutely adore it. So thank you very much once again. This is the Blue Pearl Ocean Wave series from Rough Rider. So you can see you have that shield in there with a the wave on it. And this is natural pearl. They've injected with blue dye to get that sort of wave pattern. And you can really see it move in the light. Do have nickel silver bolsters either end, both aligned. And I mean, look at the colour of that pearl moving. Is that not just the best thing you've ever seen? I love this handle material. I, I, I really wish I was into knives when this was originally came out. I would have definitely bought the whole series. But again, you can see nickel silver ringed and ringed either side. We have no half stop on this, as it's an older model. We have the horseshoe tang stamp, and there we go, nice clean edge. By far one of my favourite slip joints in my collection. You see there, 440 steel, China. As I mentioned, no half stop, just a nice clean action. And on the back, a nice strong pull on that pen blade as well, definitely at least a seven. And again, that Rough Rider horseshoe tang stamp on there as well. So there we go guys, that is my current canoe collection. I really hope you enjoyed this open tag. Please jump on if you wish. All you guys are YouTubers, tag me in your response. Anyone that's not a YouTuber wants to get involved. If you've got Instagram, post a picture of your canoes, tag me in it. If you haven't got Instagram, leave a comment below of what you've got. I'd love to hear from you. I really want to see more of these coming out. So I hope you all guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I hope to catch you here again. Peace out.